Hello guys. Um, so in your web dev career, or should I call it journey, you've probably considered uh, building a menu component in your application, right? So you have a hamburger menu like this, for example. Then the hamburger menu has submenus that when you click, shows the different submenus that that menu opens. And then the different menu items also have nested submenus. And it's probably difficult to build something like this, right? So if you just think about the process that goes into implementing something like this, you'll need to implement some JavaScript. You'll need to figure out the CSS for how this will work even before you start writing the markup. So it's not something that is easy. So what if I told you that you can build something like this without using external libraries, without figuring out what UI library you want to use, JavaScript is involved here, and what CSS logic is involved here too. Because there's a lot of logic involved here. So for example, when you open the menu like this, you want when someone clicks away from the menu, you close it. That just doesn't happen. You need some JavaScript logic to do that. But now, in the newest versions of our browsers with Chrome, uh, Firefox, and Safari, we have the new popover API. So this API will allow us to implement exactly something like this. Well, not exactly. You'll have to work pretty hard to get something that works as nice as this. But something close to this without having to write a lot of JavaScript or uh, having to install thousands of lines of uh, external JavaScript libraries. So this video will be about this popover API, how it works, and how we can do something simple without writing a single line of JavaScript. So let's get started. So let's start with a simple button. Let's call it our menu button. So this button should open a menu, right? So we got our button here. So we want when you click this button, we show the menu. So this menu should appear just below that button. So you make it a nav element and uh, let's give it a menu ID. And then inside the menu, we have menu items. You have the home, about, and contact, like that. So this is how our menu looks. So we want this menu to be hidden by default. And then when you click open menu, this menu should open. So how can we do this with the popover API? Well, it's not that hard. So in the nav menu, so this is the menu that should pop out, right? So to make it a popover, we just add a popover prop to it like that. So just like that, you can see that it has disappeared. We need a way to launch this popover menu. So we can tell this button to launch this popover menu by adding an extra attribute to it, calling it a popover target. So we tell it this button should open our menu popover here. So we give it an ID of menu. So the popover target get should be the same value as the menu id so with this if we click open menu then our popover will appear and if we click outside of the menu it disappears amazing right so we get the interactions of a menu without doing the hard work and i haven't added any javascript code to implement the interaction between these two elements so the browser itself knows how to link these things so opening the menu is simple right so what if you want to open a nested menu we want to have another menu item inside this menu that pops out another menu right so let's see how we can do it with this api let's add an extra list item here so we add another button here so let's call it uh, the more button and so this button should have text like that so just more text so if you open the menu we have another button here that clicking on should open the extra sub menu so we'll use the same trick we used to implement the upper menu here so all we need to do is to add another nested nav bar like that we call it more and then inside it we have more list items so again we have to call this a popover and then we need to give this a popover target to that more navigation bar like that so if you open the menu and then you click more another menu appears and you can even go further so there's no limit to the next thing we can do here so we can still add another list item with uh, another button so another more button so we call this uh, even more so even more items again we can add another nav bar let's call it uh, more two and then inside it we can still have the extra list items so again we repeat the same process so this one we call it a popover and then so this should be more button right and here we should give it a popover target like that which should be more two so opening the menu we can open the more sidebar and then even more opens an even more nested sidebar and i think that is all you need to know to be able to get started with this api so something that is mind-blowing is what you get by default 
default without doing anything. So for example, you have opened three nested navigation bars here, right? So if you want to close all the menus, we just have to click outside of the, uh, the menus, right? So what if you want to close uh, one menu? So we open the number one nested menu and then number two nested menu. So what if you want to close this? So if you click inside the first menu, we close the second sub menu. And then if you click into the first one here again, we close the other sub menu. So you get all these nice interactions out of the box without having to write a single line of JavaScript, without importing a single library. So all you have to do is have some good CSS skills to be able to get uh, better looking nested navigation bars that don't look as bad as mine do here. So I've added uh, very little CSS just to style the navigation bar and then uh, the list items and then the buttons and, and I think that's all. I haven't added uh, too much CSS to style things here, just to style the elements. So this brings your focus on the UI element of it and how it will look, but everything about how it will interact and how users will interact with it is provided for you by default by the browser. This is is amazing if you are using an external library to do this consider switching to the pop of api works in all modern browsers you won't regret it so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video